Hey everybody, I hope you guys are all doing okay. Welcome back to Surlem Ultimate. In this episode, we're just gonna continue on with the our uh, well with uh, with our game. We've been uh, we've been having some pretty productive episodes. Some good you know, card finding luck. Some card finding grind as well and we've also embarked on uh, the next major uh, sort of long-term grind or like a medium-term grind which is uh, getting all of the uh, the god spawns unlocked and uh, that's gonna keep us busy for a while one thing I should mention though and I don't I haven't talked about it very often mainly because it ha it's not even out yet, so you don't want to like talk too much about something that doesn't exist yet. But it's something that is in the works, is that this game is... Um, as of when I'm recording this right now, which is uh, end of June. As of now, there is a major update in the works. And uh, as... As a fan of the game, it's been suggested to me by other fans of the game to follow up on, uh, or like, or just to follow along with the, uh, with the, uh, with the game, uh, with, like, with, with the game on Discord, and you know, all of the uh, sort of updates get posted there as you know they happen, as funding goals get met, as individual decisions get made. I'm on the fence about that. I peeked into the uh, Discord a couple times. And right now it's still early stages, so there's lots of stuff that could get added, lots of changes that could get made um, going forward. But th the thing is, so uh, it's, it's hard to explain. And uh, by the time you watch this video in September, who knows, the patch might already be out, so you'd be like, what, what are you talking about? I'm saying this because I'm recording this in June when the patch is still in its very early stages. It's so, okay, how do I explain this? So, if the patch was purely about bug fixes and, you know, technical improvements, you know, adding new game modes, if that was the only thing being added, then I'd be fine, you know, following up on all the details and being like, ooh, is, is, is this feature going to be there? Is, is that thing going to be there? And that's fine, but from what I gather, like, actual game content, like, regular game content is also being considered, and most likely some form of that is going to be added. How extensive that is going to be, if it's, you know, just the occasional, you know, new skins, like, one or two new creatures, the new specializations are also being, uh, like, new specializations being character classes are also being considered. So, that's the kind of thing where I don't necessarily want to know immediately when those kinds of decisions get made. I kind of want to be kept in the dark, and then even though you know, you, you know it's kind of coming, when it does come it feels like more of a more of a surprise kind of like so i don't know how old the people watching this are but if you're old enough to remember diablo 2 so i i'm old enough to remember diablo 2 before the expansion came out and then the when the expansion did came out even though we kind of knew okay you know when the expansion comes out it's probably gonna have new character classes it's probably gonna have new items a new area when it did come out and when that became real it felt more it, it felt like it hit you a little bit harder you know as opposed to like learning like as opposed to if you were following development in real time and then one day just they made an internal decision that, oh we're gonna add a, a thing called the assassin and it's gonna have stats like this and following that in real time it, it, arguably is cool in its own way but maybe I'm just old-fashioned I prefer I prefer the old way where I I like to just keep myself in the dark and then see the whole product in its final form or, or like 
close to its final form, you know, and anytime something big gets released, often you need to have some other minor patches afterwards, you know, to tie up the loose ends. But regardless, like, by the time Lord of Destruction dropped, it was... You saw what it is that they were, that they were trying to make. Rune words, especially, something like that. I, you know, it, like, it blew my mind when I first read the manual for Lord of Destruction and learned that this thing now exists in the game. So similar to that. That's my philosophy, right? That is my philosophy. Uh, thank you so much. Um, I'm glad you guys came to my TED Talk. And <laughs> with that speech out of the way, um, I think it's time to get going uh, with this episode. Now, I do remember that we did roll ourselves a nice bonus. Um... And, uh, I think it's time for us to just, uh, just dive right in. How long have I just been monologuing? Uh, six minutes. Wow, that's, that, that, that's pretty long. That's pretty long. But I, I just wanted to mention that, right? Because I know a lot of people watching, maybe you're younger, or maybe you just have a more modern, um, disposition towards the world and uh, you know that's fine but I'm not necessarily gonna be as uh, um, you know caught up on you know minute to minute breaking news about what happens in this game as other people might be and that's by choice if something drastic happens and people are like oh you know the uh, the developer's gone insane and he's just completely... Ooh. Well... Well, that's a... A lovely way to start the episode. Kind of almost makes up for me wasting six minutes just uh, Just talking at you and nothing happening is that the first thing we interact with gives us a, a card. Man, come on. Really, dude. But yeah, like, just, just to finish that thought. Like, if something crazy happened, like, they're like, oh, the developer's gone insane, and he's trying to... He's trying to <laughs> t turn this game into a, you know, a, a, a dating simulator. You know? That would be, you know, the kind of thing where I'm like, okay. Maybe this time I'll uh, make an exception and I'll actually I'll go to the Discord and I'll see what's going on. But something like that I think is unlikely to happen. Pretty unlikely. I do believe. All right. All right. I'm gonna have to set these guys up. Fire. Or should I use a? Uh, Um, I guess it didn't, <laughs> and there was no point setting them on fire because my macro cast dispel anyway, so duly noted. And now we have rebirth. Okay, treasure golem. I should just change my macro because otherwise I'm going to be manually casting spells every why are these guys coming back to life? Why are these guys coming Also, what exactly is a death guard? Is there a race called the guards? No, hang on. What? What is a death guard? Where's my Where's my phone? Let me look at look that up. I I think I know what. I think it's those guys in the Kingdom of Heretics. Oh, hang on. Uh, Death Guard is... Plus. Come on. Doom Guard, that's the one. And I think these are from the, uh, the Kingdom of, Her of Heretics. 
Yep. Those dudes. Alright. Alright, you, my friend, have nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. You've got to kill to stay alive. It's a bit of a bit of a music reference. Oh no, I think he's gonna get him. Oh no, we didn't. Oh, okay. Luckily, luckily, he didn't run away. We didn't have enough to kill him because we don't have any additional attacks. Right, that's why. That's why. What is... Did we... We did get rid of his extra face. Why are you... Why are you still alive? What is... Okay, finally he's dead. Jeez. Be gone, foul <laughs> catter for... Dude, I, I love Mortem. She's... She might be my second favorite. Uh, behind Torin, just on uh, like just on how comical her dialogue is. Like the the the, the writing in this game is, is it's actually really good. Uh, Forgotten Lab is forty eighty. Yeah. There we go. Macro is working, and now we can just murder people like this. I can even summon some people at the candle. Don't mind if I do. We're still on these ethereal basilisks. Already found a card. So that, like I said, like I always say, anytime you find a card, especially a card very early on, is that it completely takes the pressure off. And you can kind of just relax, take it easy for the rest of the episode, knowing that even if nothing else turns up in terms of uh, rare things to find, it's, uh, it's still a... Uh, Still a good time, right? You should be just trying to kill. Let's try and kill. There we go. And who are you? The Abomination Master. Abominations are excel at exploiting the weak and vulnerable. Hey, that doesn't sound nice. <laughs> Let me show you how it's done. That's not nice. I think you need to be taught a lesson. But first, let me do a bit of this. What sort of debuffs do we have? That, and that's fine. Do a bit of that. Do a bit of this. Jeez, what the fuck? Did he do like summon horde or? Uh... I don't know what's going on? Uh, anyway, but we gotta we gotta try. And... Excuse me. Excuse me. What happened? Oh, did my animators have the fear debuff? Oh, he must have. Then he must have lost it because I don't see him with the fear debuff right now. All right. Uh, so, so trying to do a bit. Do we have less stat gain? We do. That's kind of annoying. Uh, you know what, let's do a nice uh, contagion, just ruin these people's lives a little bit. Get rid of their debuffs, uh, sorry, get rid of their uh, minions and give them a bunch of debuffs. Alright, hit you like that. You know what, I'll actually hit this... Uh, Hit you like this. Do feign death again. And I think now we have enough. There we go. Alright. We've uh, finished the realm, but we still want to look around. A 
Are we done with this part of the map? Not quite. Not quite. Oh yeah, and there's this thing that we haven't interacted with. Uh, they're just, they're just gonna kill themselves. Okay, you you do you. You know, be true to yourself, even if that means murdering half of your entire team and then killing yourself. It's, uh, you know, who who am I? Who am I to judge? guys hiding in here and then I think there's a couple uh, areas on top that we haven't been to we'll uh, quickly check them out I'll quickly talk to you we've already donated good okay okay You're gone. And you guys are next on the chopping block. Oh, hey, there's a Pando Shrine. Hopefully, it gives us a treasure golem or maybe some, tre um, some emblems. Hey, hey, we got the emblems. Five emblems. That's half of a key, basically. Jeez, what the... Oh, my God. What a clusterfuck that fight was, but at least it ended quickly. All right. on these ethereal basilisks to give us this card. Still waiting. There's one enemy left. That's good, because then we can just kill you and uh, move on. Okay, yeah, and the exit was northeast. You got it. Pretty close to pretty close to handing in this rune of prophecies. Should have probably handed it in earlier, but at this point, I'm committed to getting a little bit more out of it. 350. I think we can do a little bit better. I shouldn't be doing that. Like I, I set a rule for myself: three fifty or better. I should stick to that. But I've gotten spoiled. Like last couple episodes, I've yeah, I've, I've always have been able to do better. Even if I, even if I mess up, the game will uh, bail me out. So you know, as long as the game keeps doing it, I'll, I'll, I'll like how am I gonna, how am I gonna learn if the game keeps <laughs> bailing me out? Every time I violate my own rules, you know. So really, it's uh, it's the game's fault. If you think about it, okay. So we don't need. Uh, a black slate anymore. Ooh, this is a g this is a nice realm. Let's make our. Ooh, we've already donated. Let's go into this exotic realm. And, 
Hopefully there's something nice in one of these chests. And... There wasn't. There wasn't. That's okay. Okay, what's in this? Uh, once again, we got a bunch of useless trade materials. We own 50, 36, 40, 36, 31. Yep. What are you selling? You own 48, 52, 45, 27, 37, 55 of these. Okay, yeah. I don't need any of these. I'll talk to you. Yadrama. I don't remember what the guy's name was last time, but it was definitely different than this. So, uh, I'm pretty sure the game's picking new names for these guys every time. Either from a list of names or it's uh, sort of uh, procedurally generating the names, like it's got a list of like things that can come at the beginning of, beginning of a name and you know the middle and the ending and so on and so forth. All right, so I'm gonna actually set these guys on fire. That way the Dread White is definitely not going to come back to life. And this whole battle is going to go smooth. Nothing in either of those. The Raid and Experiment are done, so I think we're going to be handing in the Rune of Prophecies very soon. phone just in case just in case uh, I get like a message or something now obviously I have no friends right that's uh, that's a given but you know just in case some spammer <laughs> tries to contact me that way you guys won't be a uh, you guys won't be dis <laughs> disturbed by that because I know like, microphones and audio quality have gotten really good and it always throws me off when I'm listening to uh, like some podcast or like, not even a podcast, like some, some stream and uh, the person has their phone close to the mic and their phone vibrates and the sound is so crisp that I think it's my phone. So I, I've, I've done that a couple of times, I've had that happen. And each time I'm like, ah, oh, I feel so bad. You know, that's just... I, I feel like this is the, the kind of thing that, and rightfully so, gets called a first world problem. Because if you're the... If you're the kind of person where what I just described in any way feels like what you would call a problem in life, then chances are you've... Uh, you're, chances are there's you know like you, you're not you're not having like the most uh, difficult life in the world let's just let's just leave it at that all right let's do some more of this Ooh, my water bottle is running kind of low Just get myself a nice, a nice drink of water. Man, water really is. I know it sounds weird to say this. I might even have said this before, at some point in the hundreds of episodes. But I like water generally gets described as tasteless, like like an odorless, tasteless like colorless liquid but to me like when you're really thirsty like when you're uh like when if you're enjoying a drink like a cup of tea or like a you know you're having a bit of whiskey or you know a, a glass of wine things that you aren't drinking because you're thirsty but just drinking for the enjoyment of it that's fine 
but for me, when I'm actually thirsty, like, genuinely, I feel like there's nothing that tastes better than just regular water. Temperature does matter. It has to be uh, fairly cold water. And, and then that's the ideal. But even, even if it's, like, not super cold, but just just cool. That's still good enough. If it gets like room temperature lukewarm, then that's a bit maybe like less refreshing, but still pretty good. All right, let's talk to the nihilist master. Nihilists, they believe in nothing. Um, and also, nihilists channel unimaginable power that, if properly employed, can wreck, wreak. Wreak, 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 wreak havoc on your foes. The drawback of Nihilist is that they overflow with so much strength that their enemies tend to be able to draw from this power as well. A seasoned tactician is capable of mitigating this downside to ensure victory. Let's fight. And also, they believe in nothing. Uh, you know what? I'm not even gonna give them their respective... <laughs> like getting rid of their trait. Wrecked. Absolutely wrecked. Alright. That's you. And uh, have we found have we found the candle? And I just walked past it. Yeah, okay, that's exactly that's exactly what happened. So let's get some more basilisks. And with these guys keeping us company, we will just take a peek through the rest of uh, this realm. Just to make sure we're not leaving any loot behind. bad realm for farming either, although I think we just got lucky and all of these uh, basilisks just spawned right around us. Because there are a couple parts of the realm that are kind of far away. A lot of these guys. Uh, well, I've got a tiny bit of water left. I'll, I'll just have to... I'll just... I mean, I, I could always just pause the episode and fill up my water bottle, but where's the fun in that? Where's the fun in that? Why not just get a little adventurous? I was about to make a like a Bear Grylls joke, you know the. Uh, I don't know if anybody even remembers him, but he like was. Um, like that. I don't remember the name of the show. It was some survival type show, and it was genuinely interesting. But I think most people, I don't even know like what context he did it in. But I think at some point he ha like drank his own urine or like he demonstrated like the viability of 
drinking your own urine as a you know survival thing right? like you know if, if if there's no other liquid like what are you gonna do right that's that's technically one thing you can do it's not an ideal thing but you know to avoid death you know you you, you might want to at least consider it anyway so like I don't know what the initial context was but ever since then like the guy basically became a meme and anytime someone references him it's usually a, accompanied with the caption mm, better drink my own piss so that's the joke I was gonna make when I was you know um, uh, looking at how low my water was running but then I was like and number one, it's a, it's a it's a pretty unsavory joke to begin with. And number two, probably nobody's gonna get it because it's been it's been quite a while since you know the last time Bear Grylls was uh, you know publicly you know relevant figure. So I was like, you know, let's let's just let's just scrap that one, you know. Right, let's hand in our two projects. A raid. An experiment. And we're about to get a bunch of uh, tasks done. A bunch of lines completed. And with that... I mean, listen, we could keep doing rounds. Waiting for maybe another another realm and that would, that would give us what another maybe 5000 or so but let's actually just hand in our rune of prophecies right now yeah another nine lines i'm okay with it let's take a look at the new rune of prophecies still no arena battle that's great we do have some gambling to do. Let's get the gambling done uh, right away. Uh, we've got to do a pilgrimage, which I'm sure we're already doing. I think we might actually be able to finish this entire room. So we need we need to do Serlopoli, scratch cards, Kino. We need to do all four. We need to do every single. We need to play every single gambling minigame. I don't know if we've ever had a Rune of Prophecies that's asked us to do this. I'm sure it would have happened at least once, and I just didn't notice it. But this is the first time I'm realizing, like, and actually noticing that the uh, the Rune wants us to do every single minigame. Usually it's just, like, two or at most three of them. Hey, and we even win something. Hell yeah. Well, that was that was fun. Some Serlopoli. <laughs> Immediately skip ahead. Okay. Hey, look at that. We got some more. And can we get some more? Oh, hey! We, we gained a turn. And now we are out of turns. Uh, let's, uh, let's do some Kino. winnings and finally finally let's do a bit of this oh and we even get the best outcome on this hell yeah well, that was that was 
That was a lot of fun. I enjoyed that. Okay. Now... Let's dive into... Another regular realm. Three ninety two is pretty good, even though they've got resurrect on death. I'll accept it. Have another couple sips of water. I'm I'm rationing it until the end of the episode. Only a couple sips at a time. All right. Um, so we need to do fire devil's rage and then punch them. What? Okay, less damage dealt and extra defense. That's kind of rough. Yeah, with how, t with how tanky the enemies in this realm are, I would have liked to be able to do Clayman. Then we wouldn't be able to stop them from resurrecting. So it's an unfortunate combination of realm properties, and where we are having to choose, like, what's more annoying? Is it having to take an extra turn or having them resurrect? And I think I feel like generally they waste more of your time. By resurrecting. So these guys are very. Oh my god. Oh my, like. Yeah, I'm not gonna be summoning anything in this realm. What the. F what the. F What's happening with that guy? Something crazy was happening with his health. I've seen enemies do it before and I'm, I'm still not sure what causes it. Alright, let's talk to Gon Furian. Uh, so these uh, these guys are from the same race as the creature whose card we found earlier in the episode, the Doom Guard, I believe. Five more enemies and a master do remain. And uh, treasure map. We have to find buried treasure, we do. Okay. So it's good that we found that. Hey, hey! There's a trait on that stone. It was 174, I think. Trait was Kana. This creature's first three non ethereal uh, cats automatically. This could be interesting. Um, we could give it to a creature and give it spells that are all beneficial. Sorry, I'm, I, I was yawning a little. It is kind of late. Yeah, well, I, it's barely past 11. I'm, I'm gonna be playing for about maybe like 20 more minutes so that I can be in bed before midnight. But yeah. Um, starting to get a little bit, a little bit tired. I also 
uh, worked out earlier today. That was that was fun. So, like, I'm tired in the evening, but it's you know a very satisfying state of tiredness, <laughs> as opposed to sometimes I feel. So, like even if I ha haven't worked out, sometimes I'll feel I'll feel tired, but then also guilty. Is is like like do you do you really deserve to feel this tired, considering how little you've done all day, and then, and then you know, just <laughs> you just feel sad for the rest of the night. Hey, the goblet is full. Okay, blood stain. I think we talked about this, or like we read the lore text for this earlier, and it's pretty interesting. I think the implication was that this isn't even a real battle, like we're just reliving a memory of something that's already happened. That's a pretty... That's a pretty trippy thing to think about. All right. Okay, there's a... Well, let's talk to you first. The Gargoyle Master. Gargoyles are great at casting spells, especially chaos spells. Well, yeah, sure, let's... Let's take a look at... Uh, let's take a look at how... Uh, how that's... Uh, gonna work. Or maybe I'm just gonna kill you before they get a chance to do anything. Oh, but I forgot to set them on... Are, uh, but they're just gonna die anyway. Except for that one guy. What? Why did he survive? Anyway, let's not worry about them. And let's uh, just get the rest of this realm taken care of. I'm gonna have to. Oh yeah, when we get back home, we'll have to re-roll the rune of uh, not the rune, the goblet of trials. These guys, uh, these guys dealt with that. These guys are so tough, and especially with the realm properties helping them out. Less damage dealt and extra defense. All right, we got a, we got this dude. That's. Uh, do a bit of that, and now hopefully we can just do this. And now finally we find the uh, the divination candle. Am I gonna s summon anything? I mean, might as well get like. A small group, and then we'll see if uh, if it feels worth it to summon any more of them. Phoenix down is life, right? Page nine. Let's get ten of these guys. It's a it's a small realm. Let's get let's get all twenty on the field. Oh, this is this is fine. This is more than fine. Oh yeah, yeah this is just fine.
Sorry. Yeah. yeah, I'm... I'm usually not this yawny... Like, this prone to yawning. Um, I think part of it is because I have been trying to shift my sleeping time a little bit on the earlier side. Because I think it was drifting too close towards, you know, 1 a.m. And I think at, at that point it's too late, so I'm like, let's, uh... Let's try and make it a little bit earlier than that, and so I think the, uh, the consequence of that is that as soon as it's 11, you kind of my body starts feeling like it's it's ready to start winding things down, and it's pretty soon going to be time to start winding down this episode as well. I think what I'll do is I'll get to the next boss fight, whatever that may be, and then after that we'll. We'll call this an episode. Why are these guys so tough? Must be something to do with their fusions. Anyway. Get these guys down, and I th think we might just start making our way to the exit. I think we've got another boss fight. Actually, before we even do the boss fight, I'll, I'm gonna have to reroll the. Uh, um. Goblet of Trials. Eight enemies, though. Let's uh, let's kill all of these because it's a pretty compact realm. I've gone a little bit quiet just because. Actually, I don't know. I don't know if I have a good answer for why I've gone quiet. I think. I think yeah, it's the the fatigue very suddenly has crept up on me. Even so, I should be good to uh, see this episode through to the end. I want to do at least one boss fight. Come on, people. Don't be don't be like that. All right. I think we should We should be mostly done with And we see yeah, just two of them left. One of them is right here. And one of them should be somewhere to the east. There we go. Kill these guys. And let's go and deal with the Goblet of Trials. And uh, let's uh, collect our reward. What are we gonna get? We're gonna have 27,000, alright. Very nice. 
And we are going to have to re-roll this, so let me just do that, and I'll be back when it is done. All right, see you in a bit. Oh my god, that took so long. I think that took more than 10 minutes. But on the plus side, <laughs> in the middle of it, I took, I took a break to fill up my water bottle. So now I am going to have hydration for the rest of the episode. I will not, in fact, have to drink my own piss. So at least... At least there's that. Alright, let's uh, get this boss fight taken care of. Alright. With my... With my sleepy eyes, am I gonna be able to... With my sleepy eyes and my rapidly slowing reflexes, and am I gonna be able to notice and stop my hand quickly enough when we get to a high item bonus? The answer is in fact yes. It is in fact yes. So how are we for episode time? 51 minutes. You know what, if we're quick enough, could even do the uh, the next nether boss fight. But for that, we're gonna have to be sharp. In oh god, what really, dude? Oh, you've a chance to fuck off, dude. That's bunch of nonsense. Yeah, I'll give the boss more attack. Um, say BSM. Okay. Oh my god, what an awful type of elite to fight under these miserable conditions. Sturdy Gargantuan, like fuck this guy, man. What an, aw what an awful creature to fight under these conditions. What the fuck are you doing? Fuck off, dude. Fuck this guy, man. Fuck off, dude. Fuck off. There we go. Yeah, loses less stats. Sounds good. Enemies are blighted. Sounds gr sounds great. Okay. We can do this. We can do this. We got this. Just make sure you don't accidentally summon anybody at the at the candle and everything will be fine are these guys are dealt with top of the timeline sounds fine to me Still nine enemies because of the enemies that we keep summoning by interacting with these spider shrines. Ugh, come on, just, just, fuck off, dude. Just die. Sure, you can always be critical. I can, yeah, I can handle people being critical towards me. Uh, I've got, I've got thick skin. All right, let's uh, finally take care of this master. 
Zola the Gorgon Master. Let's just let's just get this dealt with. Nice entangling roots. Oh, these storms are annoying. Um, we'll just, yeah, try and end this quickly. There we go. Not gonna be summoning anything. Hey, we're already completing uh, prophecy lines. Hell yeah. So got eight more enemies to take down. <laughs> Before this boss will grace us with his presence. So let's continue. I, re I really am. I really am getting sleepy. So actually, one other thing that I did earlier was I took a, a melatonin supplement tablet. Uh, like precisely because I was trying to shift my bedtime earlier. And I guess it must be working because it really is in inducing sleepiness at an earlier than usual time. I also worked out earlier, so that might be... And, and I got up earlier, so I, I did everything else right, so it, sh it shouldn't be that much of a surprise that I'm starting to fall... Uh, feel a little sleepy earlier as well. Five more enemies. Five more dudes running around. <laughs> okay. What are you? Oh, you're just giving me some loot. All right, I'll I'll take it. are down two more and ooh I think that's a treasure golem oh god come on oh my god just 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 die please thank you God, what the fuck is going on? That was... Horrible. Are you serious, man? Come on. Okay, come on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where did all these treasure golems come from? There's... Never thought I'd have to say this, but there's well, there's too many treasure golems on this map. You you want nothing to do with me? Well, you're gonna be you're gonna be even angrier in just a couple of moment a couple of moments. Because uh, I am gonna, I am not gonna let either of these remaining treasure golems go. You know that's the uh, what you gotta do. Like you gotta make sure you don't leave any witnesses, even though 
uh, that makes no sense because Regalis has cl clearly already seen me. Still, you gotta make sure <laughs> nobody else sees me, right? You, know, you gotta, you gotta plan ahead. You want nothing to do with me, but maybe if I kill this third guy, you'll actually change your mind about me. Maybe? No, you still want nothing to do with me. And I, eat, I didn't even get anything. Didn't even get anything nice out of those treasure golems. I, I just yawned again, but I think it was a, a like a quiet yawn. I, I, I think I pulled it off. Hopefully. Anyway, let's uh, get this boss dealt with, and I think then we can just start wrapping up the episode. So we've got to make sure that we do a bit of that action, do a uh, greater dispel. A bit of this. What's putting debuffs on me, man? Increases defense. Hang what is putting? Why are all these debuffs... R ridelings? Okay, okay. I gotta do Contagion. Now let me just do a uh, Greater Dispel again. Now let's do Entangling Roots. Oh, th they've got ridelings as a Realm minion. No wonder so many... <laughs> No wonder so many creatures were like bothering us with the their like like debuffing us constantly. Uh, you know what? Let's start trying to take this guy down. There we go. Let's see what's in this chest. Nothing. In that chest, nothing. What is our heaping treasure? Is it any good? We're gonna have to pick an anointment first. Um, that could be good. Now, this could be good. This could be good. I'll take Barricade. And we get uh, Nether Stone with a bunch of uh, things, but no spells and no traits. Jeez. Hey, Nature Guild reputation is now 666. That is a wonderful number. I'm tempted to just leave it at that number. But hey, listen. We've got we've to gotta keep going. we got to keep pushing that envelope. But first, we've got to head home. Call this an episode. No, first, we've got to set a bounty for the new False God, and then we can start calling it an episode. Let's get this done. Set a new bounty. Let's go... Hydronauts. And now let's wrap up what we've... Uh, let's wrap up and 
recap what we've accomplished in this episode. We found one card early on, it was from the Doom Guard set. Um, so that was pretty good. We didn't find any other cards, but we didn't try that hard either. There were a couple of rounds where we just didn't even summon anything. We're still working on the Basilisk set, so that's the main thing that happened on that count. We're also doing some god spawn summons, and once we're done with all of those, we'll, well, we'll, we'll be done with those. We won't have to do them again, unless we specifically want a second copy of some god spawn for some reason. And finally, um, what else did we do? I don't think we really got too much else done. Yeah, we just beat a couple of masters and uh, that's, uh, that's kind of it. I think that just about sums it up. So next episode, when, uh, when we come back, what are we gonna do? I think we're just gonna continue with this. We're just gonna continue with this grind and we're just gonna keep going. And uh, We'll keep going until either we get everything that we're, we're trying to accomplish or something stops us somehow. What could stop us? I don't know. Like, the one thing I worry most about is some, like, the game file getting corrupted. That's why I have a bunch of, you know, cloud copies. So hopefully nothing happens to that. Listen, like, why even... Like, why end an episode talking about something so bleak? Of, of course it's not gonna happen. You gotta... You gotta be more optimistic, Ali. You gotta... You gotta be more optimistic. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, of course we're gonna do this series 100%. And nothing's gonna stop us. Let's... Let's just put it that way. And on that slightly more uplifting note, I think it's time for me to say thank you so much for watching. Hope you had a good time. I hope you'll join me for the next episode as well. And until then, take care.